Folks in north central Indiana say they grow three crops, aside from corn and soybeans, recreational vehicles, also called RVs. You can buy or rent an RV, either a trailer pulled by a car or a motorized home, in a wide array of shapes and sizes. The smallest can be had for a few thousand dollars, much less than a new car. RVs have grown especially popular in the last few decades. So popular that they've been featured in movies, including this one with the actor Robin Williams. More than half of all American RVs are built here in Elkhart County, home to the RV Museum and Hall of Fame. Americans have always been insatiably curious about what's just out of sight over the next rise. Al Hesselbar is the museum's resident historian. The American public at least a very high percentage of us, have always been vagabonds. We have a huge, beautiful country. An awful lot of people want to take advantage and see as much of that country as they possibly can. Hesselbard says the recreational vehicle was a democratic affair from the beginning, with both rich and poor enjoying them. Movie stars and business tycoons toured the country in chauffeur-driven house cars while the burgeoning middle class holds small trailers behind the automobiles. While RV technology has improved dramatically over the last century, Hesselbart says the basic concepts remain much the same. A very popular, almost mandatory feature on RVs today is the slide-out that gives more room and more living. And we have here a unit from 1915 and 1916 that shows the rudimentary forms of that advancement. RV manufacturer Numar Corporation is located in the small farming community of Napanee. Numar's 400 employees make luxury trailers and motorhomes. Most of their customers are baby boomers, Americans born after World War II, now in their retirement years. John Samut is Numar's vice president for sales. Baby boomers seem to be using recreational vehicles in ways that we didn't even imagine. And we're responding as an industry with products that meet the needs and allow these people to have their hobbies, their interests, their passions facilitated in an RV. Some Americans are living their RVs year-round and want amenities like satellite TV and Internet. Gail and Don Winter live in their 10-meter-long trailer three to five months a year. They have pulled it through nearly every American state, including Alaska. Winners say the freedom to come and go as they choose is the best thing about an RV, but they also enjoy the relationships that develop at each new campground. And you have a camaraderie, of course, and it's been very interesting, the people that you meet. And we've got friends all over the United States now. The industry took a hit in the recent economic downturn but Newar's John Smoot says things are starting to look up for RVs. They're the first to go into a recession and the, the first to recover from it. Smoot says a market for American-built recreational vehicles is beginning to emerge in an unexpected quarter, China. Reporting for VOA News, I'm Mike Osborne in Elkhart, Indiana.